Happy 24 Ounce Tuesday, guys. What's up? I'm coming to you again from a uh, hotel room once again. I um, It's funny because I'm still in Atlanta, and I've told you before that I live in Atlanta, but you know you live way out when... Um, when they tell you to get a hotel room for conferences that are technically still ish in the same city that you live in. So I'm, I am staying in a hotel again tonight, um, for a conference for work. Um, but perfect, perfect chance to do another 24 ounce Tuesday. So, um, so yeah, I just got out of there. Oh, you know, one thing I realized I'm chronically wearing, a white undershirt in like every single one of my videos every single one and um, <laughs> I mean there's an easy explanation I get home I take off my collared shirt and this is my attire for the rest of the evening but I do own things other than white shirts so maybe I just need to accessorize or something or other anyway this is my Treasure for the evening. Mmm, yes, sir. A fine Pilsner beer. Fine. All right, so what's going on, guys? It's been an interesting week. It's been a good week. One. Um, I'm very behind on videos. Well, very behind. I'm only three days behind, but I think that there are probably 15 videos that I haven't watched, and I'm only three days behind. Um, but, quick updates real fast. The beer that I was doing for my buddy's birthday this coming Saturday is done. It's kegged. It's pretty much completely carved. Dude, that thing hit 11%. It did what we wanted to do. It got to uh, about 1021 and hit that 11% mark. Um, I will say, though, that, man, I don't think you can call it an IPA. So originally I was going to call it like a, you know, like a triple New England-style IPA kind of deal. But I don't think you can do that. The thing is too malty. And... Um, for my specific taste, it's a little too sweet. Um, in the scope of things, probably not, but you can't classify this thing as an IPA. This is an American barley wine for sure. But still good. So excited to serve that this Saturday um, for a big event we've got going on at Lincolnville Station in Snellville. Um, Tiny Palooza is what it's called. It's going to be fun. Um... All right, so not really much else on the brewing front going. I got a brew tomorrow night for another guy's birthday, but that's it. It's a Belgian wit, pretty simple, straightforward. So that's going to be fun uh, to be able to do that for him. Um, but nothing else really brewing, you know, personally brewing related. So I'll jump right to a few other things. Um, the Peach State Brew Off, the competition was this weekend. Um, heck of a lot of fun. Regardless of what happened at the competition, it was a blast um, I got to steward and I stewarded for the first time for a competition. And if that's not something you've done, give it a shot, man. It was a lot of fun. So it's essentially just helping out the beer judges running beers, making sure they're got water score sheets, anything and everything. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's, um, it's no frills, but, uh, but a cool experience. So not only did I get to see there and see the entire evaluation process of all the beers, um, but also got to taste a bunch of the beers. I did the uh, spiced beer category, so that encompassed anything from like coffee stouts to chili pepper beers to a pale ale with rosemary. I mean, it was pretty cool. Um, so I got to try a bunch of that different stuff while I saw them judge. And I'll hand it to them. These guys are taking this beer judging seriously, and it's awesome. Like... They're spending a full 15 to 20 minutes on one single beer, one single sample of a beer, which is crazy. I couldn't imagine they sit there and evaluate 
and scrutinize that much. And so kudos to those guys. I mean, that's impressive. Um, I met up with the, with another brew tuber. He, um, he slash they, this is a beaver dog brews. And, um, he lives about 20, 15 to 20 minutes away from where I'm at, but I got to meet up with him and, uh, one of his brewing mates, um, at Peach State. And so it was really cool to meet them, talk about their, their brewing escapades and everything. Um, they're actually kind of a trio. There's three of them that kind of go in for all their different brews and they brew it together. So man, that was awesome. Already getting to meet up with somebody. Um, super cool guys. So shout out to Beaver Dog Brews. Hope he, they jump into the video game. We were talking about it a little bit. Um, but dudes took home a silver medal at Peach State for a Scottish ale. And, uh, so man, cheers to that fellas. A second place medal is that's ridiculous. Congrats. Um now on to my results. Um the score sheets have not been posted for the competition, but the actual scores themselves have been posted. Um so I can tell, you know, in the in the wheelhouse of what I scored, but I can't tell why. I can't tell the reasonings behind why they rated them the way they did. Um so let's get into that. I uh I did I did end up meddling in one uh with one beer. I'll get to that here in a second. But if you want to go back and see my my ramble on competitions earlier, this is the exact example or uh, this is a perfect example of how competitions kind of work. It's the nature of the beast here. So, I, like I said before, I put in four beers. Put in a Berliner Weiss, a uh, black and red currant Brett beer, a red wine barrel aged Dubel, and then a fruit lambic. It's, it was a lambic aged on apricots. And uh, so here's what ended up happening. If you were to tell me which two beers I liked the best out of those four, they would have been the two beers that scored the worst. And, you know, I don't know how scores generally fall in competitions from, um, you know, one level to the next, but they did not score well <laughs> at all. Two of them scored terribly. And it'll be so interesting to get back our score sheets to see why if there were actually flaws in the beers themselves or if they didn't fit the style or what it might be. So I'm super excited to see the feedback on those different beers. So the two that did terribly bad, the worst out of all of them was the black and red currant beer, which personally is my favorite out of the four. It got a 26.3 which is not good. That falls down in the middle of the good range. So you've got problematic, fair, good, very good, excellent, outstanding. And good, I mean, you're talking middle of the middle tier. I mean, not good. Um, so that was a 26.3 and then the barrel aged Dubel was not much better. It was 27.5, so still in that same range. Terrible scoring beer. We'll see what the feedback was. You jump up one level. Um, the Berliner Weiss actually got a 32.5, which is respectable. I mean, that's that's decent. That's on the l lower to middle end of very good. Um, but still nothing, I would, I would think mm, maybe 50% of beers fall into that category. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know the kind of the stratification of how, uh, scores fall. Um, but the one that did the best was the apricot fruit lambic. And I would have not thought that at all. So I got a third place, um, Honestly, I was stoked to win anything. I was really, really just hoping that I didn't get shut out after my <laughs> performance of sorts last year. 
But the crazy thing is this. I got a third place in the European Sour category with a 43 and a half. So that falls into the very upper, upper echelon of excellent, which is the tier below outstanding. To get into the outstanding tier just doesn't happen very often. So I was incredibly close to getting into the very top tier, which is considered world class. Um, with a 43 and a half, the top score in the outstanding category um, let me see. No, excellent, excellent ranges from 38 to 44. So 44 is the top you can get in the excellent. I was 30, 43 and a half. Unbelievably close to getting into the world class example. But he got a third place. And that score in of itself was several points higher than the Lambic I entered in last year that won second place best of show out of the entire competition. Um, so, hey, things are crazy, man. But anyway, freaking awesome time at Peach State Brew Off. The guys who run that thing, Covert Hops, are outstanding. They put great to, together a great, uh, great raffle. Um, there was a People's Choice. There was all kinds of People's Choice uh, beers that you could taste and vote for. We had a crazy Berliner Weiss from a guy in our club. Uh, a bunch of stouts, IPAs, Irish stouts. Um, it was awesome. Great, great time. So, yeah, I'm going to be pumped to see uh, score sheets. I can't wait to see what they come out and uh, and get some feedback. But there you go. The very nature of competitions, man. The ones you may like and taste the best, if you don't put them in the right category, or if there's something just kind of, who knows? Man, it's not going to do well. I appreciate all you guys subscribing. Watching the videos, commenting, means a lot. This thing is a lot of fun. Um, I'm wondering, sometimes when I get behind on these things, on the videos, watching all the videos, if I get any somewhat kind of stream of new subscribers, I always, <laughs> and it generally turns out to be the case, um, I always wonder if somebody's giving me a shout out in a video, um, that I haven't watched yet, and, uh, so I've gotten a string over the last probably... 8 to 12 hours, so I'm wondering if somebody's shot a video and give me a shout out that's driving people to my channel, which I really appreciate it, but it's kind of funny because that's generally what's going to happen, so in the videos I'm going to sit here and try and watch after I get done with this, I'm going to be listening for my name, <laughs> but it's cool, I appreciate the shout out guys, um, thanks for all the new subscribers, you guys are awesome, um, I love the dialogue that's kind of been started uh, between several of the guys. Um, uh, Chatham Brewer, uh, go go check out his channel. He's pretty pretty new to the to this thing. A little bit even newer than I am. Go check his thing out. I like the way he does his videos. Leaves in all the uh, all the things that a lot of times we get edited out. It's refreshing. It's nice. Not that there's anything wrong with editing. Uh, cheers to Rock On Beer Blog. I just now watched your video of the the epic, epic effort Friday. It's awesome. Uh, go check out Rock On Beer Blog. Uh, shout out to Northern Accent who uh, who's having a baby boy. Congratulations to uh, to Northern Accent. Cheers, buddy. Uh, but he laid the gauntlet for Rock On Beer Blog. I think they're having a feud between the cheese grater and the homemade. You guys are crazy, man. Anyway, I don't think there's anything else I need to talk about. I sure as heck uh, need to be doing some work-related stuff. But this is a heck of a lot more fun. Even if this fine Pilsner beer isn't quite as fine as I would like. Um, guys, y'all have an awesome night. Maybe I'll shoot some uh, footage when I'm brewing tomorrow night. It's a Belgian wit. But if I don't, maybe I won't see a homebrew Wednesday. I haven't done an effort Friday yet. Shoo, excuse me. 
So we'll see. Y'all have a great rest of your week, guys. West of your week. A great west of your week, guys. And uh, we'll catch you later. Stay safe. Cheers, fellas.